everybody, Patty Ann here. I've got a silhouette quick tip for you. Check it out. Look at my screen. I'm sure a lot of you use the trace tool, right? Whether you're using a Cricut machine or a silhouette or even a scan and cut, this is perfect. You can use this for all of those machines as long as you're able to save it as an SVG and you're able to do that if you have the business edition. Also, hey, join us in patreon.com. I have a class every single Saturday and you will become so proficient at using this software in just a short amount of time and you're gonna love it, I promise. But anyway, let's say we wanna trace this image, but not the whole thing. I just wanna use this yellow flower right here. I'm gonna come over here to the trace tool and I'm gonna click on it. And rather than saying select trace area, which is what I usually do, I'm going to go to select or trace by color by hitting the eyedropper tool. Click that. And then I'm gonna come over here on the yellow flower because that's the one I want and I'm gonna click on it to highlight it. And I'm also going to increase the threshold just a little bit because if you scroll in closely, you'll see that it's not a very good trace right now. See all that little dots and stuff? We don't want those. So I'm gonna scroll in a little closer. Perfect with my tolerance area. And now I'm going to say for it to trace not just that one color area, but I want it to collect all areas just like that. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. Now I'm gonna show you something. If you were to stop right here and use it just like this, watch what happens. Let's scroll out a little bit. And let me move this up a little bit. I want you to see what happens. If I just go to trace, I'm going to end up with a pretty good trace, but look at this red line or this red box that's all the way around my image. And look at this up here furthermore. These little openings, these little gaps, I don't want those. So I'm gonna scroll back out and I'm just gonna hit Control Z on my keyboard a few times to go back to where I was originally, way back here. All right, I think I'll just actually go back to where I was before I even traced anything. So I'm back to trace by color. And I'm gonna come over here and get the yellow piece again. I'm gonna up the tolerance right here so it looks good. And then I'm also going to, let's scroll in so we can see how that looks. Okay, a little bit higher for the tolerance. There we go. I'm also going to say all areas over here. And this time, in order to get rid of that red box around here, I'm gonna grab this little box right here and move that up away. And then I'm gonna look down at the bottom too to see if the yellow goes all the way down to the bottom and it doesn't, so I'm okay there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on trace. And you're gonna see what a difference this made. So now what I'm able to do is just move this out of here and I have a perfect trace right here with no red box around it. One last thing let me show you. Let's say we do not want all these pieces down here. We just want the flower. So what you can do is come up here to object. Well, let's click on the object first and then say object release compound path. And what that does is it puts a little box around every little piece. See all these little pieces? So now what I can do is I can just grab a whole slew of them at one time and hit delete. That got rid of a lot of them. This one, on the other hand, I cannot get rid of, and I'll show you why. It's connected. Let me go over here. It's connected to this petal right here. Do you see that spot right there where it's connected? Right there. So what I have to do is something with nodes. And nodes are frustrating at first, but boy, I'll tell you, you learn to love them pretty quickly. So all I have to do is double click on this image, the line, and that brings up these little dots called nodes or points. And now I can right click on this one right here and say break path. Because of what that does now, it lets me break this path or this line into two pieces, that one and this one. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this piece right here. Break path. That's gonna break this line into two pieces there 
and here. I'm going to join these two pieces together just like that. Now let's go back out again and now if you'll notice I have these pieces and they're separate but I can't quite delete one without the other yet. I have to come up here to object and release compound path and now I can get rid of one of them just like this. This might seem pretty confusing to you, but you know what? You do it a few times, take my classes. I promise we go over things a lot right from the very beginning, beginner on up, and you'll be having this ready and going in no time. You will love this stuff. Look at that beautiful flower that I just made that's cuttable. I'm gonna group it all together, and I'll show you how easy it is to take it to Cricut Design Space. Just go to File, Save As, and unlike Cricut Design Space, I can save anything on my computer that I want to. And I'm just going to save this. These were the page. These were images that we just used for today's class. But I'm going to save this in just my download folder. And I'm going to save it as Pink Flower. Now, to be able to use this in Cricut Design Space, you must be able to save it as an SVG. The only way you can save it as an SVG is if you purchase the business edition of the software. It's a one-time only purchase for about $55, $56, and it's yours forever. You do not have to be on the internet to use it. It's perfectly fine to use for your Cricut, your Scan and Cut, your Cameo, all of those. So, and again, like I said, I have classes, y'all. I have so many fun classes. Kid, guys are learning so much. Girls and guys, people are learning so much in my classes. They're really loving them. Y'all, y'all should join them. But anyway, to save it for Cricut, save it as an SVG, pink flower. Okay. So now I'm going to quickly open Cricut Design Space and just show you how easy this is. Cricut Design Space right here. Going to go to upload, upload an image, browse. Now, while I'm waiting for this to come in, I do need to tell you that I do have classes that are strictly Cricut as well, two different types. Um, and you can check those out at patreon.com slash pattyann. Let's look for the flower. Oh, it'll be a pink flower. Here it is, pink flower. Look how beautifully that came in. Save. I mean, uh, that thing's ready to cut. That's just a picture that I found. It could be one that I drew. And it is ready to be cut just like that. Look at that beautiful thing. So what I could do is I could go to Attach and then go to Make It. And it's going to go on one mat, just beautifully cut just like that. Isn't that easy? So come on. Join us. It's a lot of fun. And I promise you'll be able to use your Cricut machine with so much more fun, so many more fun things. It's just a blast. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. See y'all again soon. Bye-bye.